What's up guys? Here we are in Seoul, Korea. And as promised, I'm gonna give you a complete and simple home workout using a towel and a jump rope. That's all you need today, okay? First of all, I'm gonna start with the jump rope, okay? Why the jump rope? Because I could run outside if I wanted to. It'd be easy peasy. But maybe you're at home, you're watching this, you're being quarantined, you don't know what to do. So the best thing, the second best thing to a treadmill if you can't afford one, is to get a cheap jump rope like this, okay? So let's get started. So what I want you to do is just follow along with me. Jump rope, and just start jumping like this, okay? Don't have to be fancy. Uh, don't need to show off, just warm up, okay? And if you mess up, oh my God, it's not the end of the world. What is important though, is that you keep going, okay? So just keep going. Aim for consistency, don't be perfect, okay? Just follow along with me, just jump. Jump, 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 okay? And if you want to be fancy, play around with the legs, okay? Okay, you can stride it, wide it, swing the rope around, whatever it takes to get your body moving, okay? Off that couch, off your computer, just jump for the sake of jumping, okay? Jump, and say to yourself, as you jump, I'm gonna get in shape today, day. I'm gonna get in shape today, today. Okay, okay, so if you want, speed it up. Add some tricks. Whatever it is that makes you, you, okay? Makes things interesting for you, okay? So, how long should you jump? Until you start feeling it, okay? Feel it. Feel it in your legs, feel it in your arms. I feel it. Okay, so let's move on. Now we're gonna use this. What's this? It's just a towel. You can use a yoga mat if you want. It's up to you. But me, I like a towel because it's more convenient, it's more compact. We're just gonna do some dead ass simple push-ups. Down to the floor, up. Down to the floor, up. Now I know, You've seen this millions of times, and you're saying to yourself, Justin, this is so boring. But boring is sometimes practical, okay? So if you're just starting off, yes, this is essential, okay? But if you're used to doing push-ups, maybe you can spice it up. You know how I spice things up, my push-ups, I go on the fingers. I use my fingers, same thing. Okay? Down and up. Down, up, down, and up. If you really want to go even to the next level, try reducing your finger count, okay? So, I got five on each side. I'm gonna bring it down to three. I got a tripod right here. Three, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and up. And if this is not difficult for you, then you don't need to watch this video anymore, <laughs> okay? But if you wanna get those digits to work out, your forearms, use finger push-ups, okay? Works every time. Okay, now, what's next? Okay, so the way I like to transition my workouts, from going from one body part to another. So we did the chest, let's do some squats. Okay, we're gonna work out the legs. So how do I do squats? It can be as simple as this, okay? Hold the towel in front and all the way up. Down and up. Down and up. You notice I'm not counting. Why am I not counting? To each his own, everyone's different, okay? You don't need to count to 10, you don't need to count to 15, you don't even need to count at all. Just feel it. One day, you may be able to do 10. Another day, you may be able to do 100. Who knows? You're wondering, what's next? Well, going back to the jump rope again. Okay, why? Because, again, we want to keep our heart rate up. Okay, so we worked out the chest, the legs, going back. Another set. 
have jump rope. Okay. Beautiful day here in Seoul. People in the background are jet skiing. This is a lot more fun than it is, but if you're quarantined, jumping rope is a lot easier than jet skiing. Alright, so what's next? You got a wall. Everybody has a wall, okay? What are we gonna do with the wall? Very simple. We're gonna do some handstands, okay? Why handstands? Because handstands are good for your shoulders, it's good for balance, getting your whole body engaged, okay? So if you're a beginner, start by just leaning against the wall like this and push and push. Push, push. Okay, so what I'm doing first is elbows out, flailing out like this. Push, push, push. And I'm on my tippy toes. Push, 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 push. Okay, now in order to engage my triceps, I'm going to bring my elbows in. Same thing, flat, up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down. Hold it, hold it, flex your core, and up. Okay, now I'm gonna spice it up. Oh, what's this you say? What is this you're doing, Justin? Well, just working out the forearms, okay? Just giving a little bit of push, putting all my weight on my fingers again, okay? Very important to work out the forearms. Never neglect them, okay? I can go reverse if I wanted to. It's even harder. Try doing this. You're gonna kill your nails, but try it anyways. It's fun, okay? Both sides of the forearms. Okay, now, your reward for doing these exercises is to do a handstand, okay? So how do you do a handstand? Hands to the floor, and up, and just hold it. And don't be lazy, don't sag, push up. Push up. And make sure you have a firm handstand. Everything's nice and flexed. All that blood now should be up here on your head. So we're gonna bring it back towards our core by doing set number three of our jump rope, okay? so. You don't have to be fancy, just consistent. So when I say consistent, I'm saying just don't stop. Don't stop, don't stop. I do some side shuffles. Done, okay, now, Back to the towel, okay? Now we're gonna work on our core and everybody has their own way of working out their core. And you've probably seen this, the plank, okay? So why do we do the plank? Because most people have a hard time working out their core or focusing on their core, okay? So let's, let's play around though, okay? So I'm just gonna Rock my body around. So I've got 360 degrees of fun on my toes. I'm gonna rock it wherever I choose, wherever I please. Okay, you do the same. Rock it. Just keep rocking it. Wherever you wanna take your body, you just fling it there. And rock, rock, rock. Back up, back onto your hands, same thing. Rock your toes, try to bring your head in. So we're going into a little bit of stretching. Stretching mode. And we're done. 
Okay, so back to the jump rope. So instead of doing the next set, we're gonna stretch out our arms. Okay, just grab your rope and get a good stretch. Pull the rope behind you. When you pull it behind you, flex everything, okay? Try to make your hands touch, but flex everything. And back up. All the way around. Same thing. Flex everything. Make sure that the rope is tense. If the rope feels a little bit too uncomfortable for your arms to do this, make it wider, okay? So no problem, you can go wide as you want. Starting off. But the better you get at this, the more narrow grip you can use. Okay, so I do this constantly. Hands in, flex everything. Around. Flex around. Like that. Flex up. And around. Okay, now, with all this flexing and stretching, you notice that our heartbeat's going down. Oh no, okay, so we're gonna do two things. Kill two birds with one stone. We're gonna work on our calves and we're gonna bring our heart rate back up. So how do we do that? Here's how we do it. One-legged jump rope. <laughs> you thought it was gonna be easy, didn't you? No! <laughs> okay, hopping on one leg is so neglected in jump rope. It's not that easy either. So if you can't do this exercise, the best, second best thing you can do is just raise one leg. Okay. So I'm not showing off for you guys. So this leg is completely weightless. All my weight is on my, my other leg. Lift it up, back down slowly. Up, slowly. Up, slowly. Up. Slowly, up, slowly. Okay, so this leg has got enough blood. I'm gonna do the other leg. So go up, slowly, up, slowly, up, slowly, up, slowly, up, slowly. Don't worry about losing your balance. It happens to all of us, as you can see. Slowly, up. Slowly, okay, so I'm gonna give that right leg a bit of a workout. One leg. Okay, you might need to slow down your jump rope. You don't have to jump on one leg, but that's okay. Okay, now I feel that blood rushing. My right leg, left leg, no problem. Okay, so what are we gonna do now is we're gonna do a little bit of a handstand variation. Okay, so go again, we're gonna use the wall and we're just gonna load our feet up against it. Okay, now what I want you to do is I want you to curl your back like a cat. Okay, like this. All right, feet against the wall, curl everything. If you're doing it right, you should feel it right in your abs as you do this exercise. Curl it. Okay, if you want to go more, you can do this and really squeeze the hell out of the floor. Congratulations, if you can do that, you're about halfway there to doing a full handstand. Okay, but if you can't, no worries. Place your feet against the wall. Start with the basics. Curl your back and grip the floor. When I grip the floor, I mean like really, like you're gripping a bowling ball or something, okay? I see a lot of people, they're just lazy with their fingers. No, they should be activated. Like this. You just grip it. And tense everything in your body. Okay, now we're almost done our workout section. Okay, so we're gonna finish it off with some lunges. 
Okay, lunges are nice and easy. You can form them anywhere. Everyone has their own preference. Hands to the side, hands on the head. Hands out, if you want balance. Hands behind, it's up to you. Okay. How many do you do? It's up to you. Keep going until you feel it. Okay. And step forward. Step forward. Behind. Step forward. Behind. Forward. Step forward. Step forward. Behind. Okay, now, last of our workout. Some crunches. Never, ever forget to do your crunches. <laughs> okay, so first of all, how do we make crunches fun? Well, I can't answer that. <laughs> okay, but what I can show you is this. First of all, I'm, I'm practicing my bicycle kicks, okay? So right now I imagine that I'm seated in a, a cycling machine, which I, which I used to use at my gym, but which is now quarantined, like most people. So, second best thing we can do is just cycle while lying on our backs, okay? So all I've been doing is cycling, okay? So now, I want you to imagine you're in slow-mo, okay? Slow-mo on the bike. Slow down the entire motion, like you're in the matrix. And you notice that my head is not back, it's it's looking towards my feet. Okay, I'm always checking my feet. And the way I figure out how far my leg is extending is by just tapping the ground very lightly with my shoe, like that. So I've reached the end of my extension right there. Tap, tap, tap. Nice and slow. Okay, legs out, hold it up, flex. Flex, flex, damn it, and back up. <sighs> it's painful, yes. <laughs> flex down, flex, flex. Stretch your arms out, flex. And back, to curl. We're almost there, guys. Okay, one more. And stretch your arms out. Stretch your legs out. So you look like a bull. Flex. 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 And we're done. Okay, we're done with our workout portion. Now we're going to do some stretching. Okay, so how do we stretch our arms? Well, you can do this, which is what I'm doing with my towel. And what I'm doing is, I'm just pulling as hard as I can on one end. It's like a typewriter. It's one end to the other end. Making sure there's enough tension on both ends, okay? Not saggy, nice and tight. One end to the other end. One end to the other end, okay? Stretch your arms as high as you can and try to look up. Okay, so look up. Try to make sure your belly button is out in front as you do this. As much as you can. Cool, okay, now take a towel, back of the head, pull down with both arms. So you're gonna feel that stretch here. Most people forget or neglect their neck. Okay, and then slowly rise up. All the way up to the top. And bring it back down. Cool. To the side, 
pull to the side. You never see, you've never seen this before, have you? To the side. Feel that stretch right here. Other side. Up down. Ah, feels good right there. Okay, try to get that stretch arm. Cool. We're gonna widen our legs. Go as wide as you can. So it looks like you're uh, playing football or you're a sumo wrestler, okay? Everyone's stance is different. This is mine, this is sumo stance, okay? Sumo, have fun. And back down. If you can't touch the floor, no problem, okay? But as long as you're comfortable. Sumo, back down. Sumo, we stretch our hamstrings, looking straight down. Okay, I'll lean to one side, touch, try to touch my toe here. Other side. If you have difficulty touching the ground or your toes, one little trick is to raise your heel off the ground, okay? So I'm not flat, I can raise it, and boom. I've just created an angle where I can reach down lower. All right, so it gives my hamstring a break and allows my upper body to stretch more. Okay? So, I can't, oh, uh, I can't touch Justin, okay. No problem, raise your heel and then sink your body, your armpit into your knee and just touch your toe, get used to that feeling. Of going all the way down there. Okay, and then heel down, try it again. Feel the stretch. All the way down. So, what I do is I do three points. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, and then sumo. Sumo to give your legs a break. Okay? Sumo, you can put your hands on your knees. Give your hamstrings a break. Back down. One, two, three. One, two, pull your body in. Three. And back up. Circles with the shoulders. And we're gonna do something called a Cossack squat. Okay, what does that look like? Okay, it looks like a runner's stretch. Okay, so you're going down like this, arms up in front, and then lean back. Okay? So, a lot of people just tell you just lean to one side, but that doesn't work for me. What I like to do is I lean to one side and I put all my weight onto the ball of the heel as I stretch forward. Then when I'm comfortable down here, I lean back. So, one more time. Put all the weight onto this foot. Leaning forward all the way here. And then I lean back. Get a good stretch. All the way back, sumo. Sumo, sumo, sumo. Sumo, sumo. This leg. Lean back. And back up. Okay, so I'm just gonna rock it back and forth. Forward, back. Forward, back. So putting the weight on my toes or my hands. Back. Forward. Back, forward, and back. Wah. Side twist. One end to the other. Nice and free. 
nice and loose. And then stretch the back, stretch the lats. Go this side, this side. Roll your wrist into a ball, forward and backwards. Press both sides. And the most neglected stretch or exercise I see most people forget to do is to flex everything, okay? So when you're done your workout, you wanna feel it, okay? So flex your entire body and then release. Release all that tension. Flex your body, entire body, your hands, your, your forearms, your biceps, your shoulders, your chest, your abs, your quads, your hamstrings, your calves. Flex everything. And then release it all. Release all that tension. Okay? One more time. Okay? Going Super Saiyan here, ready? So, flex everything. And let it all go, the tension. And that's our workout for today, okay? So, questions or comments, leave them down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you wanna see more workout videos and uh, let me know what you wanna see next in the next video. I'd like to thank our uh, special guest cameraman. Check out his links down below if you can for helping me film today. And my name's Justin here in Seoul, Korea. I'll see you guys next time, okay? Take care, Bye bye <laughs>